Good midnight world. It's live in America again. It's 12.03 a.m. In the morning. At midnight. I'm tired, so I'm only going to make a quick, like, three-minute video. I just uh, finished working out. I went out of the trouble for an hour. And I'm tired, obviously. I wanted to do, yeah, I, I made my video. I ate some food, and I watched my watch my video the night I listened to some music for a good like hour and then I went on the trail for an hour I lost like 200 like 80 calories I'm feeling good I've been going seven days a week yeah I want to go seven days a week on the trail even though it's really annoying I have to persevere and do it every day if I want to lose the weight I'm really fat right now I'm like 290 I gotta get rid of this fat 2.30, I won't be skinny, but I'll be, like, fit. Like, pretty fit. Built and fit. I'll, I'll look good when I take off my shirt on 2.30, 2.28, whatever. It is. I'll look good. Remember how when I took that headshot picture, I looked skinny? Yeah. I'm not super, super skinny, but I look much skinnier than, than what compared to now, obviously. I'm losing the weight for me. I want to look better. I want to look better for myself. I'm doing it for me. At the same time, if I end up going on a day this year, I want to look better. And she'll be like, oh my god, Ivan, you lost weight. I don't know, I asked her on a date. A month from now, I lost like 18 pounds, 15, 18 pounds. Ivan, you, are you working out? You look skinnier. I'm like, yeah, I go seven days a week on the treadmill. You go seven days a week on the treadmill, yeah. Ivan, your teeth are nice. You have Your teeth are beautiful now. Yeah, I got my teeth cleaned and bleached. You got your teeth cleaned and bleached. You have a nice bleach, no more brown stains. I got rid of the brown stains. Yeah, that's why tomorrow... Or I'm going to go to the dentist and make an appointment. Oh, I think the place closes at 4.35. I can go around maybe... I'll check what time it closes the dentist. I can go around 4.30. 4 o'clock, 2 o'clock. and get my teeth. Uh, make an appointment for my teeth this week. I got paid Thursday. Today I was not able to get money, man. My stomach said no. Yeah. But today I'll try to get money from her. I can offer to clean her car for $11. Get myself a 20 pack of smokes. I can have smokes from tomorrow for work. It's nice to have a smoke while, 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 while you're on break, man. You're on break. I eat my food and I have my smokes. Listen to music, I just smoke a few smokes, obviously, before my shift. Yeah, most of the waitresses, the waiters, the waiters who work at, uh, a lot of them who work at uh, Coco Fugue, they smoke, obviously. The waiters and waitresses, obviously. A lot of the, uh... No, not many people smoke, actually, but some of the waiters smoke. And the waitress just smoke. I think the chick who I'm into, I think she smokes too. I don't. I don't think she smokes. I don't think she does. I think she might smoke. I think she smokes too. I mean, or maybe not. I don't know. But I'll find out if she smokes uh, when I go on a date with her. She might ask me, "Hey, can I bum a smoke off you, wife?" And if I'm not, she might ask me for a smoke. Are you hungry? Yeah, I'm hungry. I only had like two tacos today, man. And I ate food at work. I'm hungry, but I know if I eat the food, I worked out for nothing. And when you work out, you can't, whenever you do a nice workout, you can't eat like fat food, man. Otherwise, you're working out for nothing, pretty much. You're going to gain all your weight back. When you work out, you have to drink, just drink water. And you have to persevere. And if you're hungry, you can't eat, man. Yeah, man. Right now, I'm drinking water, obviously. 
Now go to bed and sleep after this video, then I'm gonna wake up in the morning, make a video and all that. I try to find something to do in the house for maybe eleven, fifteen dollars. I offer to clean both cars for fifteen bucks. Get myself a twenty five pack of smokes, which is nice obviously. I'm just waiting. I'm, I didn't get my two for a check, man. I think I saw it happening. I don't think I'm getting that anymore, man. I'm waiting for like a month. It hasn't come in about what's going on here. Right? So, oh, it's coming in. Yeah. But I get paid Thursday. And once I get paid, I gotta let Wolf come back. No, yeah, I, I, I got a, I got a full time job. You got a full time job, Ivan? Yeah, okay, Ivan, we won't send you. They might maybe send me one last check. I right, we can send you the seven hundred dollar check. I'm like, really? You sell me that seven hundred dollar check, I can put like all of it in my savings. Maybe put five hundred in my savings, and I now have seven hundred in my savings, and two hundred to blow, blow two hundred of that too. Obviously, is that? So I plan on talking to the girl for the next three, three and a half to four weeks. And I'll see, I don't know, if she works this Friday, I'll talk to her more. I'll know on with, by her body language if she's interested in me or not. If I sense that she's a bit distant and she's not interested in me, then I won't, I might, I might not ask for a number. Maybe she has a boyfriend. I hope she doesn't have a boyfriend. She has a boyfriend, I'm not going for her, man. I'm not going to try to take another med squad to be for office. So I'll go for someone else. Yeah. Because I have a feeling, I don't know, man, like something tells me like, is this, uh, like she might maybe, she might say no to the, the date, man. She might reject me, man. Something tells me she'll say yes, but something else tells me she'll reject me and say, oh, I'm sorry, Ivan, I don't want to go on a date with you. I'm like, really? She's just rejecting my ass. And, I would you be crushed? Yes. I'd be crushed. The first... The first chick I fucking asked on that I get rejected by, it's not a good feeling. Getting, getting rejected is a horrific feeling to have, man. It's not a good feeling to get rejected by a chick. It sucks, man. It's not fun, obviously. All you men in the world know what I'm talking about. You probably all got rejected a few times. It's not a good feeling getting rejected by a chick, man. It sucks. Really, I mean, yes, it's not fun. It sucks, man. It sucks, obviously. I told you, if she rejected me, everyone at work will be shocked. If they found out. Let's say um, she tells everyone, yeah, I haven't asked you anything. I said, what did you say? I said, no, they're all going to be shocked. You said no to Ivan. What is wrong with you, man? You would have felt on top of the world with him. Everywhere you are, everyone stares you. And you, you said no to that. You're fucking crazy. What's wrong with you? Ivan's a, what's wrong with Ivan? Ivan's a handsome man. You said no to that? Man, holy shit. Man. He's the son of God. You said no to that? Ivan's a handsome man. I was like, she regrets it. I know. You know, so, but chances of her rejecting me is very slim. Chances are she'll say yes. They obviously. Unless she has a boyfriend. If she has a boyfriend, she'll say no. Yeah. If she has a boyfriend, she'll say no. Even if she likes me, she'll say no. Because she has, she's in a relationship. She has a boyfriend, obviously. I, I don't think she has a boyfriend. I think she just has flings with men and maybe school. So I have competition, obviously, with with, 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 the, with the younger men who she's seeing. I don't know at school, whatever it is. Yeah. yeah. I want you to make a three minute video because I'm tired, guys. Did you have a good sleep? Yeah, I had like a good like seven hours of sleep yesterday when I went to work. So I'm off tomorrow. Thank today. Thank God, so I can sleep in. Obviously, and then Wednesday, Thursday, I work at 10, so I can sleep in a little bit longer. 
sleep in until like 9 15. Wednesday, Thursday, I work at 10. Obviously. Hopefully, the chick works maybe Wednesday or Thursday or Friday. Last Friday, she worked. She's done school, so she might be working maybe a few more shifts this week. Maybe Thursday, Friday. Or maybe she's off this whole week. I don't know. I don't know, man. No. I'll tell from her body language if she likes me or not, man. If I sense that she's a bit dis, I don't know. I've talked to her. She's a bit, like, distant. You know what I'm saying? You can tell by her body language she's not really interested. I'm not going to waste my time asking her on a date. Or I will, but I'm scared I'm going to get rejected. And if she does reject me, God forbid, that's her loss. One, if you do reject me, obviously. If she does reject me, obviously. I am never flirting with you again. I am never asking for your number ever again. I'm moving on to another chat. Moving on to another chip. And if you're mad that I'm not flirting with you anymore, it's your fault. You rejected me. That's why I'm not going to talk to you. In that flirtatious one anymore. I'll still say hi to her and stuff like that, but I'm gonna say this: I'm gonna put her in the friend zone. The moment she re- if, if she were rejecting, I'm gonna put her in the friend zone. Obviously, it's Sarah. Yeah, but it's tough to put a chick you liked in a friend zone. Now, you, chances are, if you put her in a friend zone, you'll still end up liking her. If you get her number now, you hang out with her as a friend, you can still end up liking her. It's Sarah. Yes. That's my point. Two more days and I get my check, man. Fuck. Three days. Well, two days until the, until Thursday, right? Thursday is the day when I go to work. I'm going to have that smile on my face. Oh, my God. I'm getting paid today. I know, at the end of my shift, I'm like, yeah, hey, boss, you got my check? Yeah, I have not have your check. Your check is here. And it's like a six eighty seven hundred dollars check. I'm like, holy shit. Six seventy dollars check. I'm like, holy shit. I, you know, I here's your check. Oh, my God. I worked my ass off for six seventy dollars and I got my $6 check. I go to school tonight, and I cash my check. And I walk to, uh... To the Wolf of the Moon. Even though I'm fucking tired as fuck after work. I'm like, okay, I, I gotta walk all the way to fucking Wolf of the Mean. It's like a 50 minute walk, and I walk there and I get my subway and beer and smoke, and I walk back home when I'm fucking tired, obviously. And I make my videos and I enjoy my beer and smokes, and I have subway after. I'm gonna try the barbecue, the barbecue brisket beef brisket. I never tried that yet. Two more days and I get paid, man. Oh my god. It's about time, I'm saying, yeah. I work five shifts this week. I work five shifts, I'll get paid like six hundred dollars. Five ninety, six hundred. Work six days, you'll get like seven hundred, six eighty. Five days, six hundred dollars around there, six ten around there. About six hundred bucks. I'll get paid every two weeks. Good paycheck, obviously. 400 to blow, 200 to save. That's good enough. A paycheck. I just wish they had a tip up, man. That would help me out a lot. Tip up. Because if I got like $80, $100 tip ups, I'd be able to go on like a date two days later. One week you get tip, the next week you get paid. The week I get tip, I can still use that money and go on a date with the chick, obviously. So, I don't know, three weeks go by, four weeks go by, it's like to, uh, June 20th, June 22nd, whatever it is. And I ask the chick on a date, she says yes. Okay, how does 7.30 at St. Hubert sound? I get her number down. How does 7.30 at next Friday at St. Hubert sound? That's, that's, that's good, Ivan. I'll see you next week at 7.30 at St. At St. Hubert. St. Hubert, oh, Ivan, I'm like, yeah, I want to go to St. Hubert's with you. I mean, we can go to Dinty's. I'm like, yeah, Dinty's is far away. I mean, I drive. Yeah, you could drive there, but I prefer to go to Din- uh, St. Hubert. Dinty's is too far away. It's too far away, man. You can bus with her, but like a bus, it's like a two-minute bus ride if you want to bus with her. But I don't want to waste money on a bus ticket. So I'm saying, I'd rather go to St. Hubert. Let's go to St. Hubert. 
We go to St. Hubert's at 7.30 next Friday. I even, why next Friday? Because I get paid next next Thursday, next week. And I want to go on a day with you one, the day after I get paid. I want to go on a day with you the week I'm running low on cash. The chances are by the... Chances are the week before I get paid, that's the week when I'm gonna start running out of running running out of cash. Obviously, I have like two like fifty left to spend, and um, I blow a hundred bucks. I have like no money to spend. Yeah, you have like no money for yourself. Is there? The chances are I'm gonna spend a good maybe seventy five eight dollars on that first date. Cause I you need to buy her a meal. I don't know her 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 order is like twenty two dollars. For her meal. My meal is like $23, $24. You also have the drinks. Yeah, the, the meal... Mine and her meal will cost me maybe $48, 50 bucks For me and for her me and her's meal, obviously. Me, me and... um. Her and my meal, obviously, right? Me and her's meal. <laughs> That's the way they're talking to self. The slang word for self. That's bad grammar, obviously. Her what? Her meal, obviously, will cost me a lot of money. Her meal and my meal will cost me, like, I don't know, 50 bucks, $47 in cost alone. You also have the uh, the beer. I'm only going to buy one pitcher. That's enough. I'll buy one. I don't want to get, like, drunk with her for the first date. No, but I'll have maybe one pitcher with her. I have one pitcher. The pitcher will probably cost me another 20 bucks. Yeah, I'm gonna end up spending like 75 bucks or something like that. And a tip out too. I'm gonna give the waiter maybe a ten for five dollar tip, eight dollar tip, yeah. It adds up obviously. Probably eighty bucks, yeah, eighty bucks for that night alone, yeah. It's expensive, but yeah. Obviously. It's expensive, obviously. I don't know, I go on a day with her. And I don't know, the day happens next next Friday. Next Friday happens, obviously. My my manager tells me, Ivan, can you work Friday? I'm like, yeah, I can work Friday. I work Friday. She works Friday. All I'm thinking about is that day. All we're thinking about is that day at 7.30. And I'm like, I'll see you tonight. She's like, I'll see you tonight, Ivan. I'm like, yeah. I'll see you tonight, Yvonne. I'll see you tonight. And I go on that day with her, obviously. Yeah. I go on that date with her. It ends up being the best date of my life. <laughs> I feel on top of the world with her. I walk to the, uh, I go home, I chill for a bit. What I'll do is I'll go home. I'll make a, uh, on my way there, I'll just buy my beer and smoke something all tomorrow. I don't feel like walking to the wolf of the means too fucking far. Uh, my first day I get paid, I'll walk the Wolf of the Bean, but all the other days I'll just buy beer from the Ultra Mar or the other Depener. I don't, I don't I, when I when I work, my legs are tired. I don't like walking all the way to Wolf of the Bean, Wolf of the Bean Depener. Yet my beer and smells. I'll go home make a video. You know what I'm saying? And then six like forty five. I what? I'll take my shower. 640. Take your shower around 640. You can you can bathe for a good 15 minutes. You can take a nice hot shower. Get your shampoo, get your body wash, make sure you dress well. And you leave the house around 7 10. If you leave at 710, you arrive at St. Hubert's around 725, 726, 724. It's only a 14 minute walk it's not far from where I live. You know, I don't know, I walk there and I see her there waiting for me. She's there before me. Obviously, or you're there before her. I go there and she's there before me. Oh my God, she's waiting for me. She's right there. I'm like, holy shit, she looks nice. She wears her nice casual clothing. Her hair is down. You know what I'm saying? She looks nice. I'm like, holy shit, she looks, she looks beautiful. I'm saying, yeah. It looks hot. I, that's Ivan's date. She looks fucking hot. I'm saying, yeah. Or I go there and I don't see her yet. I'm, I wait, and then like 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 literally like two minutes later she shows up at the uh, the, the restaurant. <laughs> yeah. Like Ivan, no, it's that she gives you a hug. If she gives you a tight hug. That means she likes you. If she shows up on time, 
or shows up early, that means she likes you. That's a, that's a sign she likes you on your first date. Body language, she gives you a tight hug. And she dresses nice. She looks, she looks very, she looks like very nice. That means she really, really likes you. So she's trying to impress you, obviously. By looking very, very nice. And she impresses you. I'm like, holy shit, she looks hot. You know, so she wears like nice, like short jeans. Short jean pants. She wears like a nice t-shirt. Her hair is down. I'm saying she did her hair. Her hair is nicely all down. She said her hair smells nice. She put shampoo in her hair. Yeah. Smells nice. Yeah. Smells nice. Yeah, man. Smells very, very nice. Yeah. Smells very nice, yeah. Smells very nice. Your hair. Why? Like, holy shit! She's like, oh my god, you look amazing. Like, thank you, Ivan. You look, you look not, you look not so. You look handsome yourself too, Ivan. I look good. I have my tube. I have a nice, my nice, I don't know, my nice, my nice red collar shirt. I'm wearing black pants. I have nice shoes. I look good. I lost the weight. I'm skinnier now. I look good for the day, Ivan. You look good for the day, Ivan. Like, thank you. I dress nice. Yeah. So appreciate that for you guys. I you know I have cheap clothes, you still look nice. And then, yeah. You know what I'm But there is a part of me that's like, what am I, Ivan, mean, what are you doing? Like, you're married, you have a wife, Victoria Justice. You see what I'm saying? That's, there's a part of me that says, Ivan, what do you do? I feel like I'm betraying her. But at the same time, I know Victoria Justice doesn't, yeah, Victoria, it goes both ways. Victoria Justice doesn't listen either. Fox men every week. She has a boyfriend. She's crazy, obviously. I might as well have a girlfriend too. She cheats on me every week. Yeah, fuck, fuck Victoria Justice. In that sense, right? Yeah, in that sense, fuck Victoria Justice. Yeah, I'm dating a fucking chick. She did. She had like four boyfriends. I'm dating a fucking chick, man. So good compared to you. Yeah. Let's say I have a girlfriend, BJ will take it so personally. I'm like, yeah, so now that I have a girlfriend, now you know how I feel. You, she's gonna, BJ's gonna feel it. She's gonna, it's, gonna, it's, gonna, it's gonna hurt her a little bit. But she sees me with another chick, obviously. What are you doing with my husband? Yeah, you too, BJ. What are you doing? What? Hugging, piercing with your legs wrapped around him. Like, like. There's one picture of BJ took. She, she hugs, she literally jumps on Pearson. Her legs are like completely like wrapped around him. She's like, she hugs him like super tightly. I'm like, yeah, well, I saw that picture. It's a very, very, very wide, disturbing picture, obviously, for, for, for me. You know what I mean? I shove it just for good. Yeah, man, she's a fucking crazy woman. Not just about me making you happy. What about you making me, make me happy? You haven't done that so far. You just cheat on me every week because you're crazy, obviously. That's why I can go with you once you cry to me. She's a crazy woman. Oh, really, I mean, yeah, I mean, I'm used to the crying now. I just ignore it. I just sleep. You know, and before you know it, I pass out and I wake up. I'm like, oh, my God. And I hear VJ crying. And she's, this girl's crazy. I was like, I ignore her. She's a crazy woman. How can any man take a woman like that seriously? Yeah, there you go. <laughs> yeah. That's it. I know how to sleep through her crying. I'll just take, I'll, I'll go to the doctor. Look, man, prescribe me with sleeping pills. You want to see people that, that, that pass you, make you pass out? Yeah, and they, I take one pill and I, I'm out in like 10 minutes. And that's how you see through BJ's crying. Or listen to music. You'll listen, you'll see through crying, obviously. Yeah.
Ten for two, please. You know what I'm saying? Like, go what? In the restaurant, I have a good time when they're at the restaurant. And while I'm there, everyone at the restaurant sound. The restaurant's packed. Everyone at the restaurant are all staring at her. Like, I want out. The waiters are saying, I want out hot just chickens. They're all saying, oh my God, she's beautiful. She's a beautiful woman. She's a hot chick. Yeah. She's not Victoria Justice, but she's very attractive, obviously. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I don't know. After the date, she's like, Ivan, I want to take a picture with you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You want to take a picture? Yeah, I want to take a picture of me and you together. I want to post on my social media. I want to make a video, Ivan. You know what I'm saying? I want to post a, a, a video, Ivan, on my Instagram. With me and you. I'm like, say something, Ivan. I'm like, hi. You know what I'm saying? You see me here together. She posts a picture or a video. And, and then now that I know her last name, I'm going to end up stalking it, obviously. I end up checking out her her Twitter or her Instagram. And I find, I, oh my God, I'm with her. There's a picture of me and her together. And you all will know because I have the keys. You're going to look at those pictures, obviously, the videos. Let's see how hot this chick is. And the chick is, oh my God, she's attractive. She's like, I want how hot this I want how hot this chick is. And she looks at the picture. Holy shit, she's attractive. This chick's a, a beautiful woman, yeah. Obviously. You know what I'm saying? And the date ends up being the best date of my life. I feel on top of the world. Obviously. If she smokes, if she smokes, what I can do is... While we're eating at the restaurant, obviously, we can we can go out and have a smoke every, like, 20 minutes if we want. Yeah, if you want to go have a smoke with me, we can go out every every 30 minutes. We can go out and have a smoke if you want, if you smoke, obviously. Hey, you want to go out and have a smoke every 30 minutes? Sure, Ivan, yeah. If, if she smokes. If not, don't do that. But I recommend you don't do that. Just... Have your smokes after you talk to her for a good, like, hour and, like, 45 minutes or two hours. And, you know, when I go outside, I'll light my cigarette. And if she has a car, I'll walk her to her car. And give her a hug. I just want to say I had a great time with you. You're my first day. You're my, I'm your first day. I mean, yeah, I had an amazing time with you. You know, it was the best day experience of my life. I'm saying, oh, thank you, Ivan. Yeah. Talk to you soon. See you later. Yeah, I'll see you later, Ivan. All right. Bye, take care. Have a bye, have a good one. Say bye, have a good one. You give her a hug, have a good one, Ivan. She leaves you, your date went well. And I walk home, I listen to music. All I'm thinking about is that date. Hopefully it went well. Hopefully she likes me. Hopefully she goes on more dates with me. You'll know the next day at Ronald. Well, Saturday I work, the next day she's working. You'll know how much she likes you based off her body language. She stares at you a lot. Her pupils are dilated. That means she likes you a lot. She stares at you a lot. She's touchy touchy with you. She gives you a big tight hug when she sees you. Ivan, and she gives you a big hug, tight hug. That means she really likes you. Be chat, which she most likely will, because why? She's guaranteed. Oh, well, the next day I go to work. She's like Ivan. She gives me like a tight fucking hug. I'm like, oh, relax, man. Relax. <laughs> you know, she gives you a tight hug. Holy shit, this chick's crazy. You know, she likes me. Son, and there's a part of me like, oh my god, what am, what what are you doing, Ivan? What have I done? You know what I'm saying? Like, look, look what I did. Like, I got this chick to fucking like me, man. <laughs> While I'm married to a, to a wife, Victoria Justice. Victoria Justice is a cheating whore. Yeah, there you go, man. She she kind of gets what she deserves, right? Yeah. Yeah, and look, man. If you're touching touching with me, the people and the employees that work. Can get a bit jealous. That's why I recommend you hands off. You don't have to hug me at work. If you want to hug me, hug me in the locker room. Don't hug me in front of everyone. Otherwise, they can get jealous, man. The employees. Because there's some men who work really, really hard just to get laid. If they get laid, they have to pay for sex. So I'm sorry. Whereas I went there, went on one, talked to the chick for a month. He got on every down. He went on a date with her. It was the best date of his life. Everyone's staring. I'm saying. And now he's going on another day with her. They can get a bit jealous, obviously. Look at this chick. This chick likes Ivan. She doesn't like us. She likes Ivan. We work our asses off just to get her. We, 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 she charged us for sex. And Ivan got her. 
daughter interested in, in, in him, yeah. You can get jealous. That's why keep it to yourself, obviously. Almost another video, guys. Keep it to yourself. Sarah? Keep it to yourself. Yeah, I hope today I'm able to get money off my stepmother so I can get my smokes. I think I will. I can do the car for maybe eleven, twelve dollars. I can get a twenty five pack or a twenty pack. Yeah. Ma, uh, two more days and I get paid. Oh my god. I waited three I haven't gotten paid in three weeks, man. Three weeks I get paid it's about time, you know what I'm saying? I wish she would touch her with you. If she likes me a lot, which she most likely will, because I'm wild, obviously she will be touch her with me. She'll be flirtatious around me. She'll give me tight hugs at work. I'm like, oh. And everyone at work sees them. Yeah, you do this, everyone's going to be a bit jealous at work. And you're going to cause workplace drama, guaranteed. Because I'm wild, I'm special, obviously. And that's why to prevent the workplace drama, keep everything to your damn selves. Don't be touching her with me and give me a big fucking hug from everyone. They can get, a woman can get envious, a man can get envious. Because I'm an attractive man, she's an attractive woman. People are envious of, jealous of attractive couples. So Sarah, especially me, because I'm the son of God, I'm special. Don't hate me. I'm the son of God, I'm special. That's why I keep it to yourself. Because she wants to brag, she's going to tell everyone. She's going to post videos and pictures of me and her together. Yeah. It was his first, I don't know, sign off, peace.